Welcome to Second Listen Saturday on the Parenting Roundabout Podcast, where we share some fun moments from a past episode for your weekend listening pleasure. Look for new episodes every Monday through Friday. Today, we're focusing on something that sounds a little made for a rant. College reveal parties. Really? So, <laughs> what are they revealing about college at these parties? There was an article on grownandflown.com um, about this this concept of so you've heard Terry of gender reveal parties right where people yes. say you know shoot confetti yeah. out of a cannon or whatever to say whether they're having a boy <laughs> or a girl and so yes. this is that same idea but revealing which college your child is going to <laughs> for goodness sake which is something that I've seen on Facebook lately. You've yeah. seen like where people are going, or you've seen a party. I've seen reveals, reveals. like they they fill oh, they filmed, filmed reveals. It. Who are they revealing to? Is this if you're a kid who got into college, you have a party to tell all your friends and family where you're going, or is it like, ooh, Johnny got his letter, but I'm not going to show it to him. Instead, I'm going to bake it into a cake. No, it's okay. like, look where my kid go is going, oh. and look at all the places Ooh. that they could have gone. Oh, yes. that is distasteful. So there was one last year that I saw, and it was um, a student who had a T-shirt on, and it had the, you know, the school logo. Right. And she's like, she, and she's not talking in the video, but she's like pointing to the T-shirt like she's excited because that's where she's going. But then she, so she's all smiling and pointing at her T-shirt and the, looking at the camera. And then she looks at the camera and shakes her head and goes, no. And then she takes off the T-shirt. <gasps> and there's another T-shirt underneath with another school logo. And she's oh, well, pointing she's to it. Video. Right. She's pointing to it and she's Mm -hmm. like, you know, like this is where she's going to go. And then she looks at the camera and shakes her head and says, no, she does this like 10 times. She goes through 10 (laughs) t-shirts. How many t-shirts did she have on? Right. And these were all the colleges that she got into. And then finally, the last t-shirt was the college that she decided that she would go to. Oh, for goodness sake. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's a little extra. Yes. That is extra. If people want to be happy and celebrate where they got into college, I think that's great. And I really don't care how they do it except for two things. Number one is that's a whole lot of pressure you're putting on yourself, sweetie, because if you don't do really well right away, you made this whole huge fuss and you're going to flunk out. And then Mm -hmm. the second thing is like your friend who didn't get into any of those schools Uh is now even more humiliated. You know, just... They don't care about that. I know they don't, but they should. I know. Because if I'm that friend and I see you take off 10 t-shirts of places I didn't get to go, and Mm -hmm. I later on make better in life than you, (laughs) I'm never going to forget it. (laughs) You're going to be gloating. Yeah. Yep. (laughs) Here, let me take off the 10 shirts of the places where I got jobs. (laughs) While you sit at your job at McDonald's. So, I don't know. Let me wear the number of t-shirts of represents the months that it took me to pay yeah. off my debt. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, definitely. Let me let me show you, you the t-shirts just be I was one able to buy because I am not one giant ball of t-shirts. <laughs> can't. It's just you know kind of in bad taste. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a nosy person, so I want to know where True. people are going. Like. Mm-hmm. I'm interested to see that on Facebook yes. when it's just like, congratulations, Megan's yeah. going to this school. Yes. I'm like, great. I'm happy for you. And, but it's, it's not extra like that with all right. the t-shirts and the, the drama and whatever and a party. It's, yes. it's just a little announcement of this is where, because I've seen articles too, where people have a problem with even that. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I mean, mean, it's somebody's, I pic- know. yeah. Somebody's picture on Facebook Smiling with a t- college t-shirt on, pointing to it. That's fine. That's adorable. Right. Good Good for you, sweetie. Stop there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, oh. uh, you know, I guess I just always have this feeling that the more braggy you're going to get on stuff, the more you will be brought low. I- I've found that sometimes in my life. There have been things I've been really super duper proud of with my kids and then it hasn't worked out. And then you just feel like, oh, wish i didn't say anything yep you know pride goeth before a fall 
Mm -hmm. Uh, That happens for real. This whole concept of the the big reveal and the the big proposal, and I noticed Catherine, there was another article you saw about the godparent proposal. Like, what on earth? Yes, yes. And the the godparent proposal one started with something like. We've all heard about bridesmaid proposals. <laughs> what? Have we? I was like, we have? I don't think we have. Let's not oh, do that. dear. Back up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, like, my wow. Does, does everything have to be like a giant party or a, a big video production? And, it, you know, like, can we just live? I don't. <laughs> there was something on the, uh, on the Bobby Bones show today about a gender reveal lasagna. No. <laughs> they like dyed the cheese in the middle of the lasagna a certain color so that when they then cut it open, it was. And I'm like, well, I like lasagna, so <laughs> it's okay. But I don't you think do it I that way. Be, I don't think like fake blue cheese or fake <laughs> pink cheese would be very I appetizing. <laughs> when I was growing up, there was an Italian restaurant that dyed the garlic bread green every St. Patrick's Day, so. Maybe I have a higher tolerance for food dyes, but hmm. you know you can have fun with it, but you got to be careful. I think yeah. that you don't isn't there kind of an yeah, isn't there because if an you do the huge big deal gender reveal, you know pregnancies don't always go according to plan. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, if you do the big college thing, not every kid is successful at their first college. You're just putting so much weight on stuff that yeah. doesn't need it. And but is this just really all for the Instagram photo or the Facebook yeah, photo? Yeah, I just think it's unwise. I think it's there. There's there's uh, yeah. <laughs> just just be grateful for what you have. Make a modest announcement. Go mm-hmm. on your way. Good luck to you. Um, <laughs> have a nice but, day, sweetie. <laughs> that's right. I hope that works out for you, honey. That sounds expensive, but uh, I you know. I know. Keep it low key, folks. Mind you, though, when it's my daughter's turn to go to college, oh. <laughs> we'll we'll know in another couple of months. Yeah, let's see what you do, Nicole. Are yeah. you already have you already booked the hall? The pressure's on, right? Bought the five thousand <laughs> balloons with the logo of the college inside, and uh, um, yikes! No. I don't know what happens. Right. Like if you do the big prompo- promposal and then the girl says no, do you kind of ask first just to make sure you're not going to be humiliated? This just seems so fraught. I know. <laughs> I think that's well, and for any of these things, the bridesmaid, the yes. godparent, like, and you know, isn't it just a nice honor to be asked to be someone's godparent? It is. Like, do you need to make a special gift and a this and a that? I don't know. It's, yeah, I mean, there's it's already enough pressure when somebody like asks you to be a godparent, and you're maybe not sure that's a responsibility you want to take on. But you, it's it's hard enough to say no when somebody just asks you in their living room modestly. Mm-hmm. If you had all this other, it's like when you see somebody propose to somebody else on TV, and it's yeah. like there's no way that person is going to say no now. Mm-hmm. Maybe later, later on, you there's like a right. little news story there they broke up. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. You know, there's just no, it's like if it was something like godparents, you don't want to put that kind of pressure on it. I wouldn't want to put that pressure on bridesmaids and maids of honor. Just ask somebody, you know. Yeah. But, but uh, you know, I, I understand the fun of it. And I understand the need to have somebody, something on Instagram. And I think that's fine. Just rein it in. Uh-huh. Don't put so much pressure on things. This is my advice as an old person to all these young people. <laughs> Don't go quite that far out on the limb. Yes. A little bit. A little bit. Not all the way to the tippy end. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know. I, I just kind of go back to that whole, even just the whole, I've had a problem with the whole gender reveal party thing. And mm-hmm. it's like, well, what happens when the kid comes? You already know, you know, part of that excitement is, finding out when it actually happens yeah. right like and being able to get all that information like oh my gosh the baby was born it was a boy what's its name i know you know yeah <laughs> like, but if you want time. to know i don't get why you wouldn't just ask the doctor to tell you to make this big deal that i mean are people really saying to the doctor don't tell me tell this person they're going to bake a cake and then 3 weeks from now i'm going to cut into the cake and then i will know why would you want to, if you're going to, if you want to know, you want to know. Tell me now. 
And if you don't want to know, wait till the baby is born. Yeah. <laughs> Why no the middle idea. man? I just, it doesn't make sense to me. But uh, good luck to all of those of you with big, exciting announcements. <laughs> just, just think about all the many, many, many things that could happen that would make you wish you hadn't done that. And <laughs> <laughs> Little it Miss it Sunshine <laughs> over here. <That's> right. is- <laughs> it seems like a good idea at the time. But you're halfway through that first semester and you're thinking of those nine other t-shirts that you could have gone to and thinking, Gads, I wish I hadn't made a big, such a big deal about this. And then, like, Marie Kondo and all those t-shirts to Goodwill. Yes. And- <laughs>